Hello and welcome back to a new episode. This time around we are playing Final Fantasy 3 and I have Jonathan with me. Hello. And um, I turned up the sensitivity because I don't have much of a voice. I don't have much energy. <laughs> so this is a great game to play where it's mainly dialogue. <laughs> so Final Fantasy 3, I believe this is the last Final Fantasy game to come to the NES. Which is funny. Okay, so this is technically Final Fantasy 6. 1, 2, and 3 are actually, I think, 4, 5, and 6. 1, 2, and 3, I, th I think the original ones are actually for the um, original Famicom and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Like, the way that the North American releases and the Japan releases and the Final Fantasy, the first, the first six are weird. Which one did you have me play last year? Probably played 8. No, you played 9. I had you play 9. Okay. Uh, I still I have that on my Switch. Uh, 9 is my favorite. Uh, this is 3. And, um, the, what's funny is, like, after this game, um, hold on a second. Long ago, the War of the Magi reduced the world. I think that's Magi. Yep, Magi. Reduced mm -hmm. the world to a scorched wasteland, and magic simply ceased to exist. Uh, a thousand years have passed. Iron, gunpowder, and steam engines have been rediscovered. High technology reigns. High technology. <laughs> As opposed to low technology? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> But there are some who would have enslaved the world by reviving the dread destructive force known as magic. Magic. It's a destructive force? I guess. Like, I mean, it can be. It not be channeled in different ways? Like, isn't it's that the point only, of that? It's only evil. Apparently. It's, yeah. it's just evil. Can it, can it be that those in power are on the verge of repeating a senseless and deadly mistake? Is that a cliff or a tree? That's a cliff. <laughs> Does it kind of look like a tree? A little bit. In that textured background. <laughs> Whew. Is this ported from something? No, this is this is the actual Super Nintendo game. Hmm. Interesting aspect ratio. Yup. Square generally pushed whatever they could. Um, there's the town. Hard to believe an esper has been found intact there, a thousand years after the War of the Magi. Think it's still alive? Probably, judging from the urgency of our orders. <laughs> <laughs> and this woman, this sorceress, why is she here? Are you talking about the woman behind you? <laughs> I heard she fried 50 of her Magitek armored soldiers in under three minutes. Oh, okay, sounds like magic's too... <laughs> Not to worry. The slave crown on her head robs her of all conscious thought. She'll follow orders. Are you talking about the girl, the other one? We'll approach from the east. Move out! <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> that one does. Wait a minute. Is there a city on that cliffside? I just noticed that. It looked like there were houses. <laughs> At least right. buildings dug into the side of the cliff. Okay, so yeah, so basically what I was talking about earlier, Final Fantasy VII was the first game that Square Enix made that wasn't for a Nintendo system. And like, the reason for that was because the, the Nintendo went to the N64 with cartridges and Square was super ticked about that. They're like, no, we wanted CDs because CDs had more space at the time than cartridges. And, um, so... It would, I think I heard it would have taken like 16 cartridges to do Final Fantasy VII. Whereas it took four C it took the four CDs to do PS1. Hmm. And Final Fantasy VII is considered to be one of the greatest Final Fantasy games of all time, let alone one of the greatest games of all time. Hmm. So, Nintendo. I can't exactly make the best decision. I love the N64, the controller, the cartridges, I love it all. But <laughs> Yeah. There were a lot of limitations on it. Yeah. I love how they're doing this kind of like a movie. Walking. Walking. What is this, Lord of the Rings? This feels like, like one of those movies where like they're showing you like the scenery and whatnot. Oh look, they're actually like showing the background going up. Okay. Like... We're approaching something. We're not just aimlessly trudging through the snow. I love how they have like about scene. four or five different layers. Like you have like the main layer that's just on constant repeat, and then you have okay, like back of them. Then you have the background that's slowly going up pixel by pixel, and then you have all the snowflakes in front of everything. 
You get the snow, the ground, the mechs, and then the background. I do like that it kind of shows the distance. Yeah. Because, like, it going up slightly, but it says, like, hey, they're actually getting closer. Yeah. Even though it's the exact same landmarks. Same design choice. <laughs> My computer's, like, way louder than the TV. Let's turn the TV up a little bit. Let's put her on point. No sense taking any risks. Forward! I'm glad your guy has more speaking lines. Oh, okay, right. apparently I'm controlling her. Alright. I'm gonna go over here. Um, well, on point. <laughs> Machine red and self important swine, take this! What? Oh, okay. Time to learn the fighting mechanics, I guess. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Preemptive attack. What? What was in the music? Hey! Oh. Well, that wasn't cool. Oh! <laughs> Only kill it. Okay. It seems like you already know how to play this. I, if you've played one Final Fantasy game, man, you played most of them. I never. I, I don't like, think I actually made it to a fight in the Final Fantasy that you had me play. I was just kind of running around exploring. Like it wasn't until I think like thirteen, where like they really started changing things up. Like maybe twelve. It like because like the older ones especially like it was very much. Um, Imperial Magitek armor. Not even Narsha's safe and not even Narsha's safe anymore. Although you do have like real time action, so you have to like choose what you're doing, but it's in real time, so like. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Bolt beam. Good, fast stars. Fast stars. Okay, so tech missile. I don't know what this is. He's got the guards just sitting there. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, okay, this I'm might like, as well have. That's fine. <laughs> she has bars on the right. Yeah. That tells me when I can attack next to that character. Oh, okay. Vix gained a level. Wedge gained a level. Okay. That's nice. I want to know who the girl is, though. Some sorceress. Oh, now we get to fight dogs and it. <laughs> Norse's freedom depends on us. Yeah. Oh, we're fighting the dogs. Oh, it's Man, I just want to play. I have um, a Final Fantasy game for um, my 3DS, and it's basically like all the music from the Final Fantasy like series, like like hundreds of tracks, and like um, the battle music and everything. Like, there's so many really good tracks from the Final Fantasy series. Like it's it's very beloved. Yeah. You you know why the final it was called Final Fantasy, right? I have no idea. So when Square, before Square Enix came to Enix, was, I think it was, I think it was just Square. Um, they were actually um, Jesus. <laughs> they 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 were they tried to make a bunch of different games, and none of them worked. Like most of them lost money or just broke even. Like they just didn't work. Yeah. So Square had just enough money to make one final game, to make one mm -hmm. final fantasy. Final and that game was the game that. Kept Launched them alive, them, yeah. yeah. So then you have Final Fantasy two, Final Fantasy three, like and now <laughs> there is this fifteen and fantasy history. They just announced Final Fantasy sixteen. I think it was like last year, or this year. No, yeah, they they did. They uh, they just announced Final Fantasy sixteen. You think they'll ever come out with a game called Final Final Fantasy? <laughs> I don't know. You have Final <laughs> Fantasy ten, ten two, thirteen, thirteen two. I mean, <laughs> we've got them trapped now. Oh, pincer attack. If they attack you from behind, it does more damage. Oh. Change the direction? Uh, I have to hit with direction. Um, well, in some Final Fantasy games, you can actually order how you want them to be during fights and whatnot, like front or back. But depending on, I guess, where they approach you, I guess, is how things happen. In like the Final Fantasy that I have, like nine, um, if you put a character in the back, they do less damage, but they're more defense. Okay. So I don't know a lot about the Final Fantasy verse, but I, I know a little bit. 
Octopath Traveler now. That game is good. It's like <laughs> it's like Square returning to what they knew how to do. They're like, yeah. we know how to make like 16-bit games. Yeah. We yeah, must defend, defend the mines. Do I have what like mines? Wait. Oh, what the heck are those? Hold on. Vo 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 mammoth guards. I think I need to heal her. Bolt beam. If, you, if the character that you're attacking dies, it'll attack just a different character. And you're just sitting there just like, I wanna go home. I wanna go home. I wanna go home. Oh, guys, they've got like mech suits and crap. All I got are tusks. Tusk. <laughs> Why me? Why me? What is X for? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what half these moves do. Normally, like, games like this, like, they give you like a few moves, and yeah. then they just kind of like, let you experiment. Oh, okay. And give you more as the game goes along. I just like beamed him to another planet. <laughs> what the flip just happened? <laughs> Magic. <laughs> oh, okay. Why'd you gain a level? Yes. I'm, me, guessing. Me, I'm me. guessing here. I'm, <laughs> I'm tripping guessing bombs, guys. <laughs> Can I? Man, why did they make me so huge? I legit only have one way to go. According to our source, the frozen Esper was found in a new mine shaft. Maybe this one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm gonna be putting both the same reaction. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, that's good. Cool. Yeah, that's fine. Is this a save point? Uh huh. This reminds me. An eerie glow surrounds you. One to say and feel about the save points? Sure. You can use a sleeping bag or a tent to also save a game. You should perish off it. Is that safe? Okay. Well, I also. Sleeping bag and tent. Yeah, so that's a save point. Um, I also plan on saving another way through the actual save mechanism. <laughs> Pincer attack. This is where we're at. Ow. They're gross. They look like fly heads on... Well, rat body. Actually, it looks more like a wallaby. I do so much freaking damage. Holy crap. I think it's because of these mechs. Yeah, you're probably gonna lose your mech at some point. Yeah. Like, um... Have you ever played any of the Metroid games? Yep. So, especially for like uh, the Metroid Prime on the GameCube, the game actually starts you off with everything, pretty much everything. Mm -hmm. And so you you, you kind of uh, it teaches you the basics as you go, and then like once you pass like about half hour hour into the game, it strips you of everything and kind of like makes you earn each and every one of them. Like it's yeah. like a taste of what's to come. I was like Force Unleashed because the opening level you play as Darth Vader and you can't die and you have all these different abilities and they're different. Oh handless, stand back. Stand back. They're different from the abilities that the Star Killer character gets, but it still gives you that taste of like this this is what's to come possible. <laughs> Sometimes that's really nice for a game. We won't hand over the Esper. You do that. Well Get him! Where the heck is well? Oh! Yeah, that's what that is. Oh my gosh! Oh. Okay, so I think this is it. Um, so the snail. Um, what about it? What about it? Oh, do you recall hearing about a monster that eats lightning? It stores the energy in its shell. Right, so whatever you do, don't attack the shell. Alright, already. This is the game. I think okay. you should attack the shell, Rodney. So what you're supposed to do is, um... Oh, is this the game that you were... <laughs> yeah, where Steven, he was attacking the shell, but he didn't read through it, so he was wondering why nothing was happening. Yeah. So you can only hurt this guy while his head is out. Why is he glowing? The, the snail? Yeah. Or not the snail, oh. my guard oh. on the right. Why is... Yeah. Oh, is that Vix? Maybe he has a special move charge. Oh, or hold something? on, hold on. Heal. Don't, don't do that. Ow. Okay, that's cool. We're gonna heal. <laughs> heal. <laughs> that. heal was stupid. What the what? Heal. <laughs> Girl. Okay, we're gonna do it one at a time. 
<laughs> we're just gonna you know wait and see if he comes in or out and after this is when we end the episode Come on, hit him, hit him. He, he... No, 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 I would worth a shot. I mean, Billy Joel would probably disagree with me, but... Healing Force. <laughs> She's dead! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No coming back from that, yeah. That's cool! Bruh! He's back. Kill him! Kill him quick! Kill him quick! This is, now we're gonna agree. This is not my fault. I, 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 right? did, I, did he just melt? I don't know. It looked like he just melted. Grrrr. Uh, nope. There he goes. Just, just, you know, we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait. Alright, we're gonna sit here. How are you, how is your day going? It's been great. Right. been great. Awesome. I've, you know, I've been enjoying some tennis. Right. And some bombs. Some, some bombs? Yeah, Mighty Bomb Jack. Oh, you know, they're pretty oh, great. Yeah. Okay, oh. cool. Nice. Is there a defense move? Oh, there's defense. How do I... How... Row? What is row? Do I look like I know? <laughs> what is... <laughs> what is rowing? I know what defense means! I know what attack means! I know what run away means! Those are the basics in any RPG! What the... What does bro mean? <laughs> I need to know what row means. What is bro? I I need to know what row means. Oh, you switch which row you're on. That is dumb. Oh good, I don't have to be anywhere. You should you you, you should you should take my place tomorrow for everything. Nope. <gasps> Yeah, exciting news. Miller has a new grandson! Yay for babies! That was really weird. <laughs> that was a really weird way to word that. <laughs> I like babies. I do too, but okay. <laughs> yeah, then get your head out of the car. <laughs> Yay for babies. <laughs> Man, I gotta have you watch Imagine Party Babies. I, uh, do I want to? Do I want this? Do I want this in my life? Do I want this in my brain? Do yes. I... It's actually not a bad game. Define like, bad. Like, it's actually enjoyable. Oh, okay. Like, it doesn't look good in the sense where it's like... <laughs> it's not pretty. It looks like a game for a toddler, because there are toddlers that you play as. But, like... It's not the worst looking game, but it actually is like it's a bunch of party games. Honestly, a bunch of mini games that you are, play as. Are the babies as terrifying as in Who's Your Daddy? I don't know what that is. Is that a game? <laughs> yes. Yeah, well, that's terrifying. I, I, have to, I have to find it. It's basically there are. I mean, you did it. She's dead. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. She's fine. Could be fine. Um, you look. You got a potion. It's not a reviving, but I still play it. Okay, straight. but you had a potion. Um. See, she's not dead. She's wounded. Oh, tonic layer covers 50 HP. But she, I can't, like... Interesting. <laughs> like, she's dead within, like, the first, like... Oh, whatever. Mm. Basically, you have one baby and, like, a whole bunch of parents, and the parents are trying to keep the baby from killing itself, and the baby's trying to kill itself. And so you're in this house, and the baby can, like, jump in the bath with the toaster, it can eat a bunch of pills, it can throw itself in the oven, it can... This is a game? Yeah. <laughs> Terrifying. <laughs>
Yeah, but like somebody plays as the baby and everybody else plays as the parents. <laughs> no, we, we should find it and play it sometime. <laughs> we should play with the girls. <laughs> Pretty freak out. Alright, before we find more enemies, we're at the 20 minute marker and I don't want to go any farther. It's probably um, a good idea. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Mainly for tonight, I don't have the energy. Normally, I would go up to 25 minutes for like an RPG like this, but uh, this is going to take a while. Yeah. This game's going to take a while. Yeah. So thank you, Jonathan, for joining me. Like, subscribe, and share for everyone else. And as always, a fantastic day, and I'll see you in the next episode, but who knows what that'll be. Wee! See ya! <clears throat>